Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, Lisa and I are actually going to be reacting to our wedding video. I'm gonna show you guys some super cute pieces that I just got from Shein. I just got the box delivered maybe like two days ago and they have the most amazing fall pieces. They're having their Black Friday sale guys and there is going to be about 85% off select items and on top of that, they're giving me a code to give you guys an additional 50% off, which you guys are going to be able to enjoy and splurge and just go shopping for Black Friday. So I'm actually wearing this jacket right now. I'm going to get up show you guys just some cute tops that I picked up. I picked up like two um, uh, crop tops and they are so freaking cute. I also got some jackets and I just, just wait for it. It's so freaking cute. Okay, so this one you guys probably already saw it in my stories, but I needed to show you guys um what it looks like in my video but to look at this jacket it is so freaking cute the material is everything it feels just so cozy just perfect for fall i am literally obsessed i'm also going to show you guys this a flannel here i am a sucker for flannel i feel like flannels crop tops and jeans just scream fall vibes to me they are just so cute they're statement pieces especially colors like these i feel like they just look so cute and you can wear them in like multiple ways. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Again, material is amazing. It feels very lightweight, but it's still very just cozy and I love the color. Super cute. So this one I was really excited about. I actually love the lace detailing in the bottom. I feel like it's super cute. It makes it look a little bit more dressy, but you can obviously still wear it very casually, but it's like this really cute, just a knit sweater. It's like a crop sweater. You can wear it some like some jeans. I love telling you guys how I would personally wear them, but I would actually make this a little bit more casual with like some high-waisted jeans and like my white Air Forces and just have it be like a little cute, you know, crew neck. I mean, a cute um, cropped knitted sweater moment. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys this one on the mirror just so you guys can see. I need to get like a long mirror, but it's like this really cute v-neck top and it looks like just really cozy, guys. Like I'm obsessed with how casual and cute this one looks. Okay, this one's probably my fave. It is a really cute um, turtleneck and it just looks so freaking cute. Do you see how bomb this top looks? Okay, so this top I was actually really excited about. Um, just because the detailing on it is like super different. I have it in a tan and then I also got it in black and in white. So freaking bomb. Like they just look so cute with like literally anything like you can put them with like some jeans you could put a flannel over them and they're just like this is just such a cute like top like i would never see something like this <laughs> so cute okay so this top here is really 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 cute i love the green for some reason i've been like really into green lately and look at this blazer it's a little bit of a different shade but i would totally do like a green on green tone with some light wash jeans but so freaking cute she's expensive <laughs> so freaking bomb please count the times i say she's cute because i am obsessed Okay, and this top I was actually very excited about um, just because it's also super different than what I've seen before. It's actually holding the girls like pretty well, which I'm really excited about. Um, but the detailing here in the front is really, really cute. I just need to get like some pasties to make sure that I don't show the girls, but it's long sleeve. I love them. And last but not least, Shein has some of the most amazing bodysuits. They fit like a glove. This one specifically is like this really pretty brown shade, which I am obsessed with. 
So if you guys want to go ahead and pick up any of the Shein pieces that I just mentioned to you guys, you guys can go ahead and go down to the description box and take advantage of my code to save some money. Video. It's been so long. Five years. Yeah, it's been five years. It's been five years since we got married and I don't think we've seen the video together. Have we seen it? I don't think so. I don't think we have ever watched the video together, so I'm excited that we're going to be able to see it. And um, let's see how... I know that the first thing Lisa was going to say is that he had hella hair and he was skinny. <laughs> not that he's not skinny anymore, but... <laughs> I was I was for sure skinnier. I could just tell just by looking at, like, you know, pics. Sometimes we see them. Yeah. But I know I was skinnier. I yeah. gained good weight, but then también, like, me pasé some, some days. No, you look... He, I think you after, don't... after Max, I think, or Camila, one of I feel like you, you like, just look like a man now, you know? Like, man, man. But I'm excited to see today's video. If you guys are new to my channel, hi, my name is Blanca Yvette, and I do post videos here on my channel. I do have a vlog channel as well that I will link down below for you guys. This is my husband, Ulises, and he is going to be um, adding his own captions and everything to my description box because he likes wow. things to be very specific because he likes to promote himself on here so he'll probably throw I'm all his no all his ads and all his I have more, info i have more things going on now uh -huh. so follow my youtube channel i believe it's just under my name this is benitez and um, i have podcast episodes on there i am uploading like some hair stuff pretty soon since i was a barber once upon a time and um but i like doing these videos because this is like the daily vlog stuff you know what i mean mm -hmm. like reactions and like fun videos like that so that's why we're here so check that out and let's get to it we have our ear pot ear pods air pods <laughs> We have our air, my AirPods in our ears because we have a lot of songs in here that are co non-copyrighted. Wait, they're copyrighted, so we're not going to be able to actually like put the sound. But if you guys want to watch the video once this is over like by itself, you guys can go ahead and go watch it. But it's going to be without sound here because... Are you going to be able to play basically the video the whole mm -hmm. time on there? Yep. Yeah. So they're watching the video just with no sound. Yes, because I don't want this. I don't want the video right, to get right, copyrighted. Right, right. I just wasn't sure if they were just gonna see our reaction with no video being shown, so they don't know what we're reacting to. You get me? No, no, no. They're okay. gonna be able to see everything. Okay. And then we're using the phone, so you guys can see. Yay, I'm excited. I'm about to walk down memory lane. <sighs> hey, I love that part right there. That was like my favorite pictures and everything too. So, <sighs> Your dress was fire too. Damn, I was skinny. <laughs> you look the same. I feel like your hair is just black. I'm long. I feel like it's crazy because when people see um, like videos or pictures of us from a long time ago, like they make it seem like. Oh my God, it's, she looks so different or you look so different. But I feel like people fail to realize like people are growing up. Like, yeah. like you know, I was a baby when exactly. we got married. You were I, a child. I was like 20, <laughs> I was going to be 23. I think I turned 23. Yeah. Yeah. I was 25. Yeah, yeah. I turned 23. So I was pretty young. And actually they say that like as a man, like right now I'm 28, going to be 29 in February. Mm -hmm. And that's the time where your body like kind of like fully develops. Yeah. <laughs> So you turned into a man already. I'm just giving myself a, a scientific <laughs> excuse. Okay. For white You're dope. <laughs> I feel like I like my mom right there. You did, low key. Mm -hmm. she, you see the waist? You look so good. I love Elise's in suits. Like, I love when he dresses up like that. I used to tell him all the time that, cause I used to work at the bank and I used to tell him like, I don't know why I just envision you being like a little bank teller or a little banker. Cause you would <laughs> literally be looking fresh every there day with like a suit. was a point where I really suit. thought about it. But then again, you outplay it. Like you don't get that like ah uh, feeling all no, the yeah. time. No, I, I love when Elisa's wear suits. Like, I'm gonna just start wearing them every day. So I it feel, look important. I feel, <laughs> no, because it's crazy because when people see you in a suit, like in a like, Blazer, they automatically assume you're somebody important for some reason. Yeah, yeah, they'll open the door for you and shit. Yeah, like they think you're like legit, you know? <laughs> I love those shoes. I think you still have them, no? Sound. I, I think I do, but they're, um, they don't fit me no more for some damn reason. Because my foot grew too. 
on this day, I will give my life away to you. <laughs> <laughs> what were you writing? No, I... Oh my yeah, God, it's all so funny. funny. <laughs> My monotone voice. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I promise to always keep you happy and make sure you have a huge smile on your face from today. And it's just you and I. I can't wait to see you. I was fresh for sure. What well, happened to Carlos's leg with his boot? Oh my gosh. That, <laughs> he had a broken oh, leg. That, that's when uh, we're supposed to go to the bachelor party in Miami. Yeah. And he flaked and then he flaked. Literally the day of, like, you guys, like... He broke his leg? Yeah, so he jumped off of the truck for, to, at work. Yeah. And he ended up breaking, like, his, um... Spraining his ankle. Oh. Uh, but for not going to the trip, he sprained his ankle. This is cute, because I really wanted a moment with my sister, so... I'm glad the that part. they captured that. Yeah, because originally it was supposed to be my mom, but my mom ended up leaving. Like, my, yeah. mom, my mom wasn't in here. She didn't see me, but they made it seem like she was looking at me. Right. But she wasn't. She would have been crying. I still remember this part. It happened so fast. And as soon as I turned, I saw you right there, that moment right there, I remember. Right when uh, I saw you. You look pretty right there, I remember. Right when I saw you. It's so funny because your mom, I think my mom was waiting for your mom to like saludarla, but your mom looked at her face like she was crying already. I already mm. recognized your mom's cry so vividly. <laughs> She was like, "Se robó mi hijo." Your mom looks so pretty. She looks good when she wears makeup. <clears throat> she looks really good, like your cousin. I mean, she's never she never wears it, but you know. Yeah. It's so crazy seeing like Suli and Saida, just because like I feel like I haven't seen them in forever. La prosperidad. We had to have it at that church too. Yeah. That was my padrino right there. I, I loved how everything turned out though. Like, like I'm looking at this right now and like I wouldn't have changed. Like there's nothing I would have changed. Like I love the location and... Yeah, you know what the, the thing is? like You look like a baby, baby. Like, I know, you but it, so you, know, you know what I was doing different there with my beard? This, look. I, I will line this up. You see it? Yeah, under. Yeah. I like that. That was kind of cool. I think I did it last time and you said don't ever do it again. No. <laughs> and then I, had it that, I did it that short and you said don't ever cut it that short again. Uh -huh. So now, now she likes it a little darker. Well, I used to love when he used to do like the very light, light beard. But now like I appreciate the beard, but not like super, super long. This is like cool. But, yeah. you know. It looks good. It's just funny how things change as time goes. <laughs> Elisa's a smile, look at it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you're oh ulti. Oh my god. <laughs> you're ulti. Don't show <laughs> You know what's funny though? Nobody good. ever noticed though. Nobody no, ever noticed. No, because they weren't bad. You're making it seem, it's yeah, just weird seeing you know your old teeth because I'm so used to like your big teeth now. Yeah, so the thing is that the the teeth were like Yeah, good crooked. teeth. They were little though. So when you would smile, it looked like empty space. Yeah. So that's why right there, it just looks like I'm missing teeth. <laughs> yeah. But just yeah, that's smaller. me. No, babe, your teeth were fine. I to me, like that was never, like I never even knew that it was an issue. You know, until like after he started getting a little bit older, and then I think um, you having the tongue ring really messed it up because you were getting your teeth. They were chipping a lot. Mm -hmm. But it's so weird because I see you now with your teeth, and then like I see you there, and I'm like, oh shit! Like your smile looks so different. I don't even notice these though because. They're so natural. This was my favorite part. I huh. really wanted a dove release. Like it's dope that we still had a full party of like bridesmaids and actual, yeah. you know. Yeah. It was really really cute. The only thing I probably would change is like my bridesmaids' dresses. I don't know why I picked those. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, look at Jalen and that freaking Alexa. They're so tiny. This one right here. That was nice. Mm-hmm. Oh man, I just remember it was so hot right there. Remember? And it was so humid in that little area. It was by a river. 
Yeah, this is when we're taking our pictures and remember my Miguel before we left he spilled all his freaking wine on my white uh, dress Look, we look good right there. The, the groomsmen. Yeah, I know you guys looked really cute That was a nice color overall By the way, it's a headache to freaking um, Pick like the groomsmen and everybody be on the same track like that's annoying with what they want to wear and everything. Yeah making time The venue was super nice. Yeah. Too. Shout out to Carlos for coming through. For the time. venue, yeah. And it was like to find outdoor locations yeah, in impossible. Stockton was like very, very hard. I remember so. you were stressing about that. There was like no way. Well, because I really wanted an outdoor wedding. Like that was always like my dream. Like I always, I didn't want to be at a, in a hall, you know? Like I wanted an outdoor wedding. Yeah. No, it was hot as shit though. Dude, it, was it was so, so fucking hot. hot. That day it was like 105. It was so really. hot. And then we get a limo, guys. And the fucking limo AC doesn't work. Oh, yeah. Remember? Yep. Oh, my gosh. And then, like, you know, with the wedding, like, you that's why they say enjoy it. It's because you do so many things. In this time right here, we're taking so many damn pictures after we came back from taking pictures. Yeah. So, we hadn't even ate. We, hadn't we didn't even, even eat anything. And then everybody's just, like, asking you for everything, you know? Like, where's the food? Is there more food? I get a picture, so just like everything. So I mean, definitely enjoy like every little moment that you can. The mariachi is, is really good too, though. Shout out to Ezekiel and mariachi. They're San, my favorite mariachi San forever. De, Santa Maria. We always yes, get them. We oh. always get them for everything. Yeah, they're really good. <laughs> is that you? <laughs> no, I think I it still was... remember that little dance. Or oh, those are engagement pics yeah. too, right? Those uh -huh. are nice too. That was San Diego. Yeah, Everybody fanning with... themselves. Oh, the Garcia brothers. It's crazy because our wedding was actually very intimate. Like we didn't invite a lot, like all of our family, you know? Like we invited, every, the only people that were at our wedding were people that we actually talk to like i didn't want i didn't want our um video when we looked back at it and then we saw you know our clips where we're like who was that or who's mm -hmm. that guy or who's that uncle or who's you know we didn't want to like have like you guys already know like with mexican families like they bring tios and tias and like tios from like far that well, you like don't even like talk to, to invite, like their people yeah my mom yeah even my mom so she like, was like how are you away. not gonna invite this person and that person and i'm like mom well uh, when was the last time I even spoke to them or when was the last time they even checked in to see if like I'm okay You know yeah. like they should not be invited to my it's wedding even just that, to me. It's even just the aftermath of the wedding too where like they start Telling you like everything was good, but and mm -hmm. then it's just, like there if the food ended so, at this time and yeah uh, So and so didn't have this. I'm just like bro. Yeah. I can't I can't worry about that. You know? Yeah it, it really got nice at night too Yeah, the lights My dance with my brother we were all crying Yeah, this that is Miguel where he was like, I don't remember any of this. I was like, yeah, bitch, because you were drunk as fuck. <laughs> They're fucking trying to... The, the, the guys, the always guys dude. They were like... My brother was picking me up. I wasn't even on the chair anymore. That's why I told you that. Like, the thing is, our families are very different. And, like, my family jokes a lot more. They like that kind of... Ambiente. ambiente. Mm -hmm. So I told you from the get-go, I'm like, dude... Be careful. Yeah, my my brother be... was literally when they were in the vibra, he them, was think, carrying me. No, dude, it got pretty bad. That's why I told her I'm like, just be careful with the vibra because I already know how these guys are. <laughs> Carlos, look. <laughs> <laughs> and he won the thing where he got to dance with somebody. I forgot who he danced with. Did he can get the one where he's getting married to? Yeah, that's one That's a video that made Miguel cry, remember? Yeah. Oh, we doing an outfit change? Who is she? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll be more comfortable. Novana was good, too. 
They were oh really good gosh. until. I suck. <laughs> you have no rhythm, babe. I love those pics right there. Actually, I think, I think we, we have the strip. Couple. Yeah. Yeah. What are they calling it? Uh, the photo booths. Photo booths, yeah. So we got our video done by Cabrera Photography, and they actually were the ones who filmed my quince video. I should do reaction to my quince video. That'd be dope. Um, they did my quince video, and I feel like they honestly did such an amazing job capturing like our wedding. Yeah, like I feel my like wedding I video. Got married like, again right now. Like if it's cute, you're not <laughs> gonna gain brownie points with me right now. You're, I'm mad at you. I'm trying to, you know. <laughs> I said I feel like you. I went through my whole wedding again. Huh? I just felt like I went through my whole wedding again. Oh my god. Shut up. No, but I honestly, it's so crazy because we've been married for five years already. And when I watch the video, it doesn't feel like it's been that long, though. It doesn't feel like it's that far out. But we've done so much. I feel like that's why, because it's been so, like, you know, like back literally, to back. Literally, to literally back to after back the back. wedding, I got the shop the next year. Mm -hmm. Actually, that same year. No. No, the, the year next after. year. Yeah, the year so after. It's, it's, so, so, really, it's only been four. And then we moved in. No, we moved in obviously before that. Yeah. We moved in. <laughs> we, I think he doesn't remember when we moved in because we were still living at home after we, we got that married. Home. That shit, that shit was the weirdest thing ever. We got married and we still lived at home for like yeah, for like a, a week month, and a half no? or two. No, no, no. Oh, I thought it was like a month. No, it was like two weeks tops. Yeah. And it, it's like I went home after like oh yeah, but back at the house and I'm just like it feels weird. Yeah. So we figured it out. It was just like our living situation was very hard in the beginning because we just didn't know what to do. Yeah. So it's we a didn't pretty know if big we wanted step. to do like a house, uh, like rent a house or like what? But we ended up renting the apartment. Well, the, the, well, the goal was to rent a house, but yeah. it was just like impossible to find anything because we didn't have anything to back us up. Yeah. And then um, we did the apartment for seven months. And then you guys already know, like in the Hispanic culture, like well, like just Mexicans in general, like I'm sure it's all the Hispanic culture, but like you don't leave your house until you're married so olisa obviously didn't have a house like he didn't own a house or own an apartment because he was still living with his mom i was still living with my mom and my dad so it's like you know obviously <laughs> oh my god I'm you're sorry. the worst fucking person to it fucking just, film i haven't even videos been with. yawning lately and you're all fucking of a sudden, ugly but uh <laughs> So after that, we um, ended up finally renting a house. Perfect situation for us. And then... Renting an apartment. An apartment focused, sweetheart. Yeah, after that, I said. Yes. We ended up renting oh, a house. Oh, a house, yeah. And after that, we bought Next to my house. mom's house. Yeah, literally. So it was like... I remember still... The, the crazy thing is that everything happened kind of like last minute for every step that we did. Yeah. So after the apartment, remember, we ended up leaving because of the party noise. Yeah, we, we pretty much got kicked out of our yeah, apartment. It was seven month lease and we were like stressing. And we didn't then, get kicked um, out, but we, there was, we had a... Like they, didn't, they weren't going to let us renew. Yeah, yeah, they weren't going to let us renew. And I remember you went to your mom's house one day and it was like a couple weeks before. And then you said, dude, I ended up stumbling across this guy cleaning the house. Yeah. And we ended up finding... I literally was just like, hi, are you guys going to be renting this house? And my he's like, yeah. Here. I was like, my mom lives down the street. Like, I would love to like rent it. And he gave me his info and we rented yeah, it out. Yeah, he loved us as renters too, And man. he was an amazing tenant. Like, I mean... He he literally we, didn't want us to leave. Landlord, we yeah. were the tenants. <laughs> yeah, he didn't want us to leave either. They were so nice. Yeah. Uh, shout out to them, and then. And that um, was like on. It's crazy because. The best times right there. Huh? I was just gonna say that I was like it's crazy because that house was the house that I felt the most at home at. Obviously now this house because it's our house, you know. But like even the house before this house didn't really feel like home for us. It did. It was so fast. It yeah, happened well, so well, it quick. was starting to, but we, it, we never really even got started to enjoy it. Because yeah. then we moved there. Fix it up and everything, move yeah. in, and like a couple months in, we ended up deciding like, yo, we're out of here. Yeah, then, but that Duck Cove house, oh, me just announcing the address, but that house, the the rental. the rental, that one was like party, that was party house, baby announcement, Max being born, and then Camila moved, was born there too. No, Camila was conceived there most likely in saying. a drunken night. Yeah, yeah, so that, those, that was the, the, the house I really like, we had a lot of fun at, and um... Mm -hmm. After that, I mean, we obviously moved here, so it, that's kind of like really fast forward been the journey. And all in five years, guys. Like yeah. it's it, it's hard, it's crazy to like look back at the time and think like, wow, we really did all of that in such a like fast pace, like yeah. five years. Because sometimes so people much. are just at one spot for five years, so like I mean, yeah, we need to we need to fucking stop. <laughs> well, we hope right now. We need but to stop moving. That's the thing with um. That's why I tell Blanca, I'm like, dude, the last five years has been a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, so, I'm ready to settle down and uh, yeah, enjoy the moment chill. and enjoy life. So hopefully these next five years are great 
and I'm just waiting and ready to plan my vow renewal, which I was trying to do at five years and so that was crazy. <laughs> I'm like, bro, we're really getting started. He's like, what are you talking about? He's like, we need to do 10 years. That's like the minimum. And I was like, okay. Yeah. And plus, we never, I just even, party. Really, we never even really, um, I feel like we haven't done everything we want to do like as a married couple yet. Yeah. So like, what do you want to do? What are, what are two things you want to do, babe, as a married couple? I told you I still want to travel. Okay. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to take me? Well, the trips we haven't went to. Okay. That's so, one thing. What's another thing you want to do? Um, I guess like what you said, be settled and like enjoy like little things, you know, like, like yeah, like just regular stuff like that you would do at home. Like yeah. obviously being home is like everybody's like, yeah, like there's no need to be out sometimes because you're in your home. And I feel like we uh -huh. haven't been able to really enjoy a home. We, and, we're, we're still building though. It's crazy, yeah. huh? But we've been on the move is, is what I'm trying to get back to that. Yeah. Like everything's happened so fast. I haven't been able to do that. And then, like, yeah. you know, now I feel like we're able to, like, we're starting to finally, like, do that, you know? But yeah. it takes time. It takes it takes time, just like uh, anything. So, it was fun, though. Yeah, for sure. It's good looking down memory lane. We should do more reaction videos. That'd be cute. We could react to, <gasps> we could react to me giving birth <laughs> to Camila. I'm going to for sure pull up my Quinta video. I was actually telling Karina. They're both very different, too, the births. Yeah. No. No, the births were very different. I feel I like Camila's more. birth was the most beautiful experience I have ever experienced in my life. Not that Max's wasn't, but Max's birth was very traumatizing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, haven't you guys seen Max's head? <laughs> it was Max's birth was so traumatizing and Camila's birth was so easy. beautiful. It wasn't yeah. easy, but it was beautiful. And if I could, if I could get, be guaranteed that my next birth, if I was to ever get pregnant again, would be like Camila's, I would get pregnant in an instant. Like, yeah. like no doubt. Yes. But I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. I thank you guys all so much for watching. Make sure you guys give this video a huge thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm going to link all of Elise's social medias down below for you guys. That way you guys can go ahead and subscribe to his channel. Um, subscribe to his podcast, which is absolutely amazing, guys. If you guys have not tuned into the episodes, they're legit. Like, Elisa's really, like, found his niche. Is that what we call it? Niche. 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 Um, so I think yeah. niche, too, actually. Yeah? Yeah, check it out. Late. Season one is done, but yes. season two is coming next year. Um, I think I have, what, like 14 episodes, a bunch of different stuff. Um, the Instagram is there mm -hmm. as well that I just started. So, I mean, I'm going to just tell her to link, like, my Instagram for pretty much everything I do. And it will be a pleasure to see you guys. Over there. Following yes. and supporting and stuff, so. For sure. Appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on my next video. Love peace, you guys. Peace, peace.